In this video, I'd like to show you an example of a sales operations planning dashboard. So what we're seeing here is the SOP information for the entire company. Um, we're imagining that we're sitting in October, so we have actuals up until September, but for October, November, and December, we have a production plan or supply forecast. We have a sales forecast or demand plan. We have an inventory projection, which is our stock on hand, plus our supply minus our demand. We have an inventory target, and we have a customer service target at the top. The right-hand axis is percent customer service. Our left-hand axis is, in this case, showing Australian dollars, but it could be, of course, any currency. Um, we've used standard cost or cost of goods sold to dollarize all of our SOP information so that we can get this lovely top-level company view. But we can also drill into details. We can look at the drink category, and we see that these subcategories are highlighted and these other subcategories are dimmed out. So in other words, within the drink category, we only have these subcategories and these specific SKUs. We can drill further and say, just show me light drinks, and it's only these two SKUs. We can also create clusters. So we can create, we can select SKU 5 and hold control, select, select SKU 2. Now we've got a cluster that spans two different categories, and this is great for looking at things like promotions. In this particular case, you wouldn't want to cluster these two because the projected inventory is showing us that we're about to go out of stock. So if you ran a promotion on this, it would be very embarrassing. Um, you can see here that our planned production is well below our, um, uh, our sales forecast. And this is pretty simple information when you've got it all um, summarized in one view like this. Now, if we look back at the whole company view, we can see a bit of a pattern of what happened this year. We can see there was a planned shutdown in June because we uh, planned to produce less and pretty much on target. We sold close to forecasts. Um, Therefore, we ate into our inventory and basically ended up where we wanted to be as far as our inventory levels go. And we had customer service levels above target for three or four months in a row. So things were looking pretty good. Then in July and August, they went a bit pear-shaped. We've been producing too much stock and not stock that customers want. So we actually had some out of stocks or uh, if you look here at the numbers at the bottom, we can see that our DIFOT delivery in full on time was 95% whereas our target was 97%. So that's where we dropped a little bit with our customer service. And we can see all of our other numbers here in the table below. And when we drill into information, of course, the table below is also adjusting to the filters that we've got. So that gives you a quick overview of how a SOP dashboard works. Um, you can download this file for free from my website, onebusinessapp.com. And of course, um, I'd encourage you to contact me if you'd like to see a proof of concept where we do this dashboard just for one product. Uh, that's a good way to get started and then I can train your staff on how to do this. You can start adding more products until finally you have your entire company working within this SOP dashboard. I look forward to hearing from you. Um, thank you for watching this video and bye for now.